Minnesota has a new flag. I mean, I don't really know what was wrong with the old one, but the governor made a big deal about announcing the new flag today, and he did this whole shtick. It was kind of funny. I was like, is this, is this real? I literally said to one of the, the producers on the team, I'm like, David, is, is this real? Um, let's make sure. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I, I, you know, I triple check everything. Let me make sure. And um, it, it kind of feels like something from that show, Parks and Recreation. Do you remember that show? It was like The Office that was on years ago. I just want to make sure because this guy almost seems like a caricature and this whole little stint that he's doing with the flag feels like a little too much. Well, no, it's the governor of Minnesota. And yes, they did get a brand new flag. And yes, it does look just exactly like the flag from Somalia. In, well, not exactly, but it echoes it, shall we say. I want you to take a look and, and you tell me. <laughs> Watch. All right, ready. Whoa, wait a minute. Dun, dun, dun. Here he is, putting the new flag up. There, that's better. Oh, better. Okay, so it's a very nice flag. It's got a very beautiful color. I think we have a picture of it flying outside the state house. Quite lovely. Okay, yeah, I get nothing against the flag, right? Pale blue. I like that color and blue and then a star. But one of the things that is striking everybody is somewhat peculiar is the fact that this flag looks an awful lot like, or it seems to be reminiscent or paying homage to some of the flags that you would see in Somalia. So these are, these are the main regional flags. Drew, do we have like the flag for Somalia as well that we can show people? Cause it's got some green in it. It's got the star and there you go. Okay. Forgive me. It doesn't have any green. It's blue and white and the star. So again, this is the, flag for the Federal Republic of Somalia. And let's go, pretty flag, by the way. And this is now the flag for Minnesota. So some people are like, what the heck? Like, what is going on? Apparently, according to some of the lawmakers there, they wanted to make it more aesthetic. So sure, I would say it's more aesthetic. You know, the other one had a lot going on. A lot going on. In fact, you couldn't even see what was going on unless you, I guess you looked really, really closely. But according to media reports, it came about because they decided that the old flag was somehow troublesome. I'm going to quote the governor that you just saw, Tim Walt, saying, our current flag is problematic. This is the old flag. I think we all know that. We've evolved into a more diverse state, and I think the new flag is going to be a reflection of that. So again, I'm like looking at the old one going, what, what, what was wrong? I don't understand. Like it, it seems, if we go back to the video, maybe we can show right, folks ready. through that well, video, ready. see the old flag there. It's blue and it's got a bunch of colors and I'm going to agree. All right. It's not the most aesthetic. It's definitely what you might call a very busy flag. But again, I'm like, what exactly is the problem with it? How is it so offensive to people? Apparently it was adopted in 1957. And it somehow, if you look really close, shows a white settler tiddling land with, as an indi indigenous man rides horseback. Indigenous members of the state emblem redesign commission said that it was harmful to their communities and promoted the erasure of the people from the land. So that is the reason that they decided to go with a new one. But the idea that some of the new one is paying homage, I don't know, to a country overseas that really doesn't have the same respect for women, shall we say? That would be Somalia. That might be troublesome to some other people, right? I mean, do you really want to be somehow nodding your head to a country that doesn't respect women, that thinks women are less, that women don't deserve the same freedoms and education as men? That's where we're going. Now, before everybody gets so mad and says, oh, that's not fair. Okay, I know it's not exactly like Somalia, but it's somewhat, somewhat like the Somalia flag, right? Again, if we show them, Drew, I mean, there, there does seem to be some kind of nod. It's not like there was a nod to Minnesota, the, the color choices. 
the star, the use of the star, I mean, kind of seem very similar. You know, Ilhan Omar is from Somalia, and she's one of their star representatives, of course, in Congress. And of course, there's a very large Somali population in Minnesota, so maybe they thought this was the right thing to do for them. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, I don't have a lot of use for Ilhan Omar, especially after she said this the other day, that pretty much everybody's calling out, everybody's agreeing, was really the wrong thing to say at Columbia University in the midst of these protests. She said, she said this about Jewish students, watch. To catch that, she said for all Jewish students, whether they're pro-genocide or anti-genocide. So, okay, tell us how you really feel. So that was pretty explicit. Anyway, um, she's from Somalia. They got a new flag in Minnesota. We don't really know what this is about necessarily. We have to be very cautious and careful because everybody's going to get worked up and make accusations they shouldn't. But the old one apparently was a problem. So now they went with this. Lovely. Lovely. 